Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you this super easy smoky eye using a few tricks, so just keep watching. Okay, let's jump on in. I'm starting with scotch tape. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand to remove some of the stickiness, and then I'm gonna use this and apply it on my eye. This will just help keep a really nice, crisp line for your smoky eye because your colors will get everywhere. And if you do this, you don't have much to clean up. Then I'm taking Shadow Sense from Cenogens. This is in the color Onyx. I'm going to put this across my entire eyelid, and then I am going to take any fluffy blending brush will do. I am using the Morphe G15 to just kind of place this color down a little bit better. And then taking an even fluffier brush, this is the Morphe G13, I am going to blend out those edges just so that they're nice and smoky and soft. You don't want anything too harsh. Now, the reason why I am using Onyx first is because it is by Cenogens. It is Shadow Sense. So it is the same concept as Lip Sense. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, it is waterproof. That means that any shadow you put on top of it before it completely sets will also last longer. Um, this is just a really awesome trick. Also using black shadows will help any other shadows and colors that you put on top really pop, which is the main point for this because I'm gonna be using a really pretty mermaidy green color later and I really want that to just really set on top and be the showcase. I'm gonna take from the Morphe 35O palette Shocker a orangey brown color and then a darker brown and I'm just going to buff those into the crease just blending out those edges again creating a nice transition shade between that onyx and what I'm going to be placing on top of it which will come later so just blending out the edges then I'm taking the show stopper this is makeup forever um, ME302 it's just a shadow it is gorgeous it's a duochrome it's green sort of purpley undertones it's absolutely gorgeous and then going back to the Morphe G15 I'm going to place that down I kind of hold the tape down because I don't like it super sticky because it hurts if you rip it off later but then it kind of creates a lift a little bit on the inner corner so that's why I hold it down then taking this really pretty browny purple shade I'm going to buff that into the crease just to kind of help blend that makeup shadow into the rest of the other colors then I'm gonna peel off my tape here that feels so satisfying seriously it feels so good and then because I don't want the edges too rough I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender from earlier that I used to apply my concealer and just blend out those edges as I was watching this back I was like Shaleen stop being so rough with your eye and ever since then I've been softer I promise <laughs> okay then I am taking this Marc Jacobs gel cream highlighter this is the color black and I am just going to put that on my upper waterline and my lower waterline of my eye yes you have water lines in your eyes and your lips you learn something new every day don't you so I'm just gonna speed this up so you can see putting it on the bottoms of both and the tops this will just help it blend it'll be really pretty with the false eyelashes that I'm about to apply then I'm taking a small pencil brush and dipping into the same chocolatey brown and the deep purple and I am going to smudge along my bottom lash line and help smudge that eyeliner out so that it's not so harsh again I just want everything nice and smoky that's the whole point of a smoky eye everything is blended and cohesive and just gorgeous then I'm going to take that same brush I have a duplicate of it and I'm going to take these top two shadows which are just white with a slight 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 shimmer and I'm going to clean up my edges the smoky eye you really don't want it going past your crease if that happens use a brush like I am to kind of clean it up I'm also just using this to highlight the tops of my brow bones the inner corners of both of my eyes just to give it that extra dimension and extra bit of pop Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is get our eyelashes ready. So these are a brand new pair. So what I'm doing is I took them out and I'm rolling them back and forth to kind of loosen them up. Then I'm gonna place them on my eyes to measure and as you can see, they're too big. So I'm gonna take the edges where I measured and just give those a nice little snip so that they fit my eyes. And then I'm going to take a small bit of glue, this is from House of Lashes, and just paint that on. 
and then do the same thing for the other side. Measure, snip, glue. Now, we are gonna set these aside and let them dry while I do mascara. I found the best mascara ever. It is from Cynogence, it is waterproof, it does not come off. Well, with wake up remover it does, but not throughout the day. Then I'm gonna take my eyelashes and pop these bad boys on. They've been sitting for about two to three minutes, which is perfect. You want them to be super tacky. I place mine on the center of my eyelids, then I pull them into the inner corner, place, pull them to the outer corner, stretch and place, and then just double check the inner corner again because that's where mine always seem to come off, so I just really wanna make sure they're well placed there. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other eye, Again, placing them on the center of my lid. Yep, see those are nice and tacky, I was just checking. Place them on the center of your lid, pull it nice and tight and place that center, the inner corner nice and tight, and again, the outer corner. Once you guys get the hang of applying false lashes, you will never go back to wearing just mascara ever again because this is so much faster and so much easier and just looks so pretty and so flawless. You'll never fight with mascara again once you figure out false lashes. They are awesome. Okay, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette in these top two colors, which are green, um, emerald, blue, sapphire. And I'm blending the two of them together because my shadow has a bit of blue and green in it. I just wanted to make it pop. This highlighter is awesome. If you like something different, something intense, then this is right up your alley. I'm taking that along the inner corner and my brow bones as well down the center of my nose and on the top of my cupid's bow. Then I'm setting my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, which is like seriously Gorilla Glue for your eyebrows. Then I'm going to take my lips. This is by Cynogens, of course. It's Lip Sense in the color First Love. Now this is key. Hard colors like mattes, like First Love, Apple Cider, Bravo is a good one. You want to go back and forth with. And I know it sounds so counterintuitive because with lip sense, everybody always tells you one direction, one direction. But with these certain colors, if you are placing them on and you notice you almost get kind of bald patches on your lips where the color just doesn't want to be applied, go over and back quickly as I'm doing here and it will fill in those areas for you. Another thing is with mattes, you really, really want to let them dry really well in between layers. I didn't show you that, I skipped over it, but I really let those layers dry. And I only did two layers, because after that it just kind of gobs up when you're going out back and forth. Okay, then I'm going to take matte gloss and set this. Matte gloss has been my obsession lately. And there you have it, you guys. That is the finished look. Thanks for watching.